Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series on engineering drawing. Well, to be very specific, in today's lecture, we're going to be discussing as to how you can determine the true length of a line given its front and top views. So why wait? Let's kick off today's session with this problem. An object O is placed 1.2 meters above the ground and in the center of a hall 8 by 6 by 4 meter high. Determine graphically its distance from one of the corners between the roof and two adjacent walls. Okay, so in this problem, we're talking about a hall, dimensions of which are given. We're talking about an object and we are talking about one of the corners at the top. Okay, onto the roof. All right, so let's have a hall. Here it is. And the dimensions are, let me write them. This is going to be eight meters. This is the length of the hall. And here, that's the breadth precisely. Okay, how much? Um, it's given as six meters. Okay, and as far as the height is concerned, this is um, four meter. All right. Now there is an object right at the center of the hall, somewhere here. Okay, the height of the object is, or the object is placed at a height of 1.2 meters. So let me go ahead and write this 1.2 meters, and over here we have an object this way. All right. And let's see that the name of the object be represented by O. Okay. Now the distance of this object has to be worked out from so from some point. Where is that point? Distance from one of the corners between the roof and two adjacent walls. If this is the roof, these are the two adjacent walls. This is the roof, these are the two adjacent walls and so on. So you can take any corner at the roof. Okay. Let's say I'm taking this corner at the top and let's represent this corner um, by this alphabet C. Okay. Now, what we are supposed to do is that we are supposed to find the true distance between this object over here and this corner. So let's say we have a cable and we tie one end of the cable at O while the other end is joined or is tied at C this way. Make sure that the cable is tied. All right. Now, the first thing that we're going to go ahead with is that we'll try to make the front and top view of the hall itself. So we're going to do this. We're assuming that the hall, entire hall uh, is resting some something of this sort. Let me show you. If this is the VP and this over here is the horizontal plane, what we'll do is we'll have a hall over here, something of this sort. The entire hall has been kept with its back fixed to the vertical plane and with its flow, okay, fixed to the what horizontal plane. This is this, right? Anyway. So let's have the front and top view of the hall itself. So from the front, you're going to see this wall eight by four, eight by four. There you go. So that's the front. That's the wall of the hall, wall of the hall. Oh, it rhymed. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, let's work out the top view. So in the top view, you're going to see this. This is going to be eight and this is going to be six. That's it. So let me fit in this eight, six, and this is going to be four. Okay, let's fit this top view of this object and the front view also. So from the front, you will see this height. Okay, or the height at which the object has been kept right at the center of the hall. So from here, we're going to go 1.2 meters above something of this sort. And this my friends is the front view of the object. Now I forgot to tell you one thing. All of this stuff that we are carrying out on a drawing sheet has to be taken with the help of a scale because all these dimensions are have been given in meters so what we need to do is we need to convert them so that they can fit in properly in a drawing sheet so one meter let's say is equivalent to one centimeter so this is the scale with which we're going to be working okay all the drawings that i'm making this four meters is not four meters in reality but it's four centimeters on a drawing sheet right okay so that's the front view of the object and if you were to look at this object from the top it would appear at a distance of this much this much how much is this this is gonna work out as three meters from the back wall you can see so from the back wall so this is the back wall you can see in the top view and three meters from here and that's the top view of the object okay so let's work out the corner now when you're looking at this hall from the front it would appear to us as if this corner is at the right and at the top this that's c dash so that's the front view of the corner and when we are looking at this hall from the top from the top this corner would be would appear to us as if it's at the back here somewhere here so that's the top view see 
and as far as this cable is concerned this cable would appear something like this in the front view and something like this in the top view okay now as far as working out the true length between the object and corner is concerned what earlier we used to do is we used to rotate either rotate the front view make it parallel to the xy line or we used to rotate the top view make it parallel to the xy line and that's the funda i had been using uh, especially in the lecture series of application of lines five to six problems i have done with this philosophy with this method but in today's lecture we're going to do something different rather than changing the position of the object and making it parallel to the xy line what we'll do is we'll have an auxiliary inclined plane parallel to this something of this sort so this is an auxiliary inclined plane in which we'll have the auxiliary top view okay <clears throat> now this top view is the new top view the old top view is over here so with reference to this top view we're going to be creating the new top view okay so now let's produce lines from o dash and c dash such that they intersect this x1 y1 line okay something of this sort at an angle of 90 degrees this way now guys remember an auxiliary inclined plane is something which is perpendicular to vp and inclined to hp and this is where you're going to get the auxiliary top view okay and once you make the auxiliary top view that will eventually represent the true length between or the true distance between the object and the corner back corner rather on the roof okay so keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here with that much amount as the radii and with this as the center cut an arc over here so that you can have o1 that's it now the distance of this corner c or this top view c from xy is how much it's nothing it's zero in fact this c lies on xy and hence its distance from xy is going to be zero so its distance from xy also is going to be zero so point c1 will lie here only and when you join o1 with c1 you have the true length or the true distance between the object and the back corner which eventually works out as 57.31 millimeters so you cannot get this exact value because i have done this in a on a machine on a computer what you will be getting is the true distance let me write this true distance um between object and what and corner back corner to be very specific from the drawing it's working out as 57.31 millimeters so you can write this as 5.7 um centimeters approximately roughly okay you cannot get this exact value let me make it very clear now on doing this conversion we know that 1 cm is equivalent to 1 meters therefore the actual distance real distance is 5.7 meters precisely now since this is the top view and over here the angle made is something that you refer to as phi or the angle made with the vertical plane and this is in fact going to work out as how much 32 degrees okay so the cable the cable over here is making an angle of 32 degrees with the vertical plane that's it now if you don't believe me we can do this stuff once again okay we can use an auxiliary vertical plane all right um and we can again calculate and verify whether the true length is really 5. cm or 5.7 meters or not okay for that what i need to do is have a look this is the auxiliary vertical plane on to which we'll have the auxiliary front view so in in order to make this front view we're going to take use of this front view okay and we're going to take this distance as the reference this distance as the reference with respect to xy and we're going to put them up with respect to x2 y2 okay but first of all you need to produce lines from o and c in such a way that they intersect x2 y2 at this 90 degree angle let's say we want to have o2 somewhere here and we'll have o c2 over here so if you want to have o2 keep one leg of your compass here other leg here and with that much amount as the radii and with this guy as the center you need to put an arc and that's precisely o2 dash all right now if you want to locate this c2 dash over here so from xy you need to take the arc so keep one leg of your, of your compass here other leg over here with that much amount as the radii and with this guy as the center cut an arc and that's c2 dash when you join c2 dash with o2 dash this line this blue colored line in fact represents the true length which again will work out as 57.31 in millimeters um 5.7 cm or 5.7 meters in reality and the angle that this fellow makes with the horizontal plane 
is working out as 29 degrees so you can see that the cable if we join this object and the corner with the with a the cable then that cable is going to make an angle of 29 degrees with the ground with the flow with the horizontal plane okay so guys that was one way of looking at problems where you need to find the true length when final front and final top view has been given to you and i'm sure that this method has generated interest in your mind to solve more problems based on application of lines so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or query to write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing or engineering graphics then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification you get an update and also to tell your friends about this channel so that they can also benefit i'm going to be back with more such videos and the next video i'm going to be doing again on projection of lines we're going to take one more problem real life problem okay until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing keep learning